Well, I need to be perhaps corrected on this, but I, I, as I understand it, this is illegal. You can't, you can't discriminate against somebody on the basis of their gender or race or age because of the Equality Act. I mean, you can take what's called positive action. So if you have two broadly similar candidates, you can use one of those categories as the basis for your choice. But you can't say, I'm hiring this person because of their skin colour. You can't do that. That's illegal. So I'm sort of surprised so at this whole story. The RAF has been accused of this as it stands at the moment. Yeah, I mean, if that was the case, they'd be breaking the law. Well, of course, but you've got a, you've got a Conservative, you know, uh, MP, Tobias Elwood, talking about him. It's a very, very serious assertion to be making. Um, clearly, people shouldn't be discriminated against because of their skin colour or their gender or their age. is ridiculous. Well, but you know it happens, right? Surely you must see. I mean, there's lots no. of different examples where you'll see... I don't know, some old white guy getting fired or getting let go or not getting his contract renewed, and then in his place comes a young uh, black female or something like that, and you look at that and you think, is that appointment, has that appointment been made purely on benefit and merit, or is but this... But you're asking a question. We don't know what... I mean, like I said, it's a criminal offence. Well, I'd actually if, make a massive assumption and say, yes, it was. If, but... you, if, you, if you have a hiring decision between the two, it's, 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 it's illegal. So I, I find this whole sort of speculative, is it this, is it that, it's illegal. So it shouldn't be happening. Like, so if somebody's saying to me, do you think it's right? No, I think it's wrong. It's also illegal. But do you think it does happen? Because I'm sure I, it happens. I do, I really I'm, I'm sure it happens. It happens but and the... what, what do you think, then, about quotas? So do you think, for example, a company should be able to have a quota, whether it's a... I don't know, I want 20% female or whatever. Yeah. Do you support those kind of things? Well, I saw the, the London Metropolitan Police Service saying we want 40% of, of new hires, I think, next year or this year, or 40% being um, BAME. I think it's ridiculous. I think you can't, you can't hire people like that. You need to hire on the basis of aptitude. I mean, you can say we have a commitment to hire more people that, you know, are from these communities. That's great. But a quota, I think, is ill-judged. Mm. Alex? Well, of course, the Metropolitan Police target is by this year and they are at half of their stated target. So to achieve it, they would have to fire hundreds and hundreds of white officers and hire hundreds and hundreds of black officers, which would be uh, the most uh, obvious example of discrimination possible. Mm. So you, when you face that kind of thing, you can do what the, I'm sure they will do and say, oh, it's terrible we failed to meet our target, um, woe is us, let's try again. Or you might sensibly say, this target was ridiculous to begin with. After all, we, the most important thing isn't the colour of the skin of the person policing you. It is the content of their character mm -hmm. and their ability to uphold the law and its values. And it seems to me it's just the same with the RAF. And part of the conversation with the RAF um, that Tobias L was talking about is the suggestion that they have lowered standards uh, on testing in order to get people in, but maintain, this is a great example of doublethink, that it won't affect standards once they're hired. I mean, it's tautological. Of course it will affect standards if you've lowered the standards by which you hire people. My view is that we should hire on merit. And I, of course, as a Conservative, think about the fact we now have the most diverse cabinet in history brought to you by a party that has produced three female prime ministers, hiring and appointing on merit. But if it's exclusively on merit, how do you get, um, I don't know, how do you achieve things like social mobility? Because let's just say, I want it on merit, everyone's got to have a degree, everyone's got to do this, that. If you're from, like, some, I don't know, bad city in sure. some city, bad school in some city somewhere, you're not ever going to get one, those... Which one do you want to ask? James Cleverly, family comes over from Sierra Leone, mum cleaner, Kemi Badenoch, uh, you want to go and talk to... No, it hasn't... Um, they're not in favour right now, but Kwasi Kwarteng, of course, briefly, uh, our Chancellor. Uh, Rishi Sunak, the Prime Minister of this country. Of course, many on the left will say it's the wrong kind of diversity. They don't like that. Uh, these examples, please choose another one. I would say uh, this is diversity in action, and uh, the Conservative Party has achieved it whilst selecting people. You may not like them, it but they've selected them on merit. It makes a good point, doesn't it? The Tory is point. very more diverse than Labour Party. Absolutely, no, it's an absolute, it's an absolute scandal that Labour is the way it is on this. Why do you think it is? Uh, I think Labour, I think because the presumption is that the British electorate doesn't want a woman prime minister or doesn't want a person of colour, that, you know, they need to take the safe pick. And actually, counterintuitively, they're wrong because we've had three female prime ministers and now we've got a, a prime minister who's of Asian heritage. But a lot of people in the Labour Party can't even say what a woman is. Never mind. Well, this, is a this, is, a this is a separate issue. Well, kind of separate but linked. Uh, mm. it's do you not think? I think so. so no, that's, that's, without getting into philosophical questions, that's an ontological issue. This is a, a question about representation. Well